Hey guys, it's me, Dave from the Kodo, and uh, I'm going to show you version 2 of my pumpkin farm uh, turtle program. Uh, and go a little bit over what the actual code does, but as you can see I have this set up here. Uh, right now it's designed to only do two rows to go back, and then to go up, and then come back. Uh, so you're going to want to set up this way. Underneath here I just have water so that these stay hydrated, and to prevent them from flopping this way. So set up your farm this way, uh, put the turtle on the very last uh, one spot over with a uh, the chest underneath and make sure he has fuel because he will be moving and he is a farming turtle so he won't be able to break regular blocks <clears throat> what he's going to do is you're going to type in the name of the program which you can name whenever you want mine is called uh, uh, farm and then uh, the length so one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, the length is important because he'll go that far out and then come back that far. That's going to be turning night soon. Let me change this. Boom. Okay. Okay, so what he's going to do is let me just terminate this. I'm going to do farm 9. That's the, the distance. Uh, let me put some stuff down here because they didn't grow. Uh, farm 9. He's going to go out as he finds some uh, pumpkins, or this will work with melons now with the new changes. He'll break it. And then he'll come back to the original spot, and he'll put them in the chest. Now, now because I mentioned that there was a change, this will work with melons as well. So let's just get a couple of these and artificially grow them here. In there and there. So now, what's going to happen is every 60 seconds is what the interval set at. I'll show you that when I go into the code. Uh, he'll jump into, he'll then go again. So we'll wait for that to go real quick. And there he goes. So the interval can be changed. I have it set to 60. And as you can see, now he'll pop melons because of the changes to the code. And I'll show you those in a second. And as you can see, he comes back. And he drops everything down in here. So let me terminate this, and we'll go over the code. So basically, right at the beginning, uh, we are saying that there is going to be an argument coming in, and the argument is going to be uh, the distance. So that is required. Uh, I don't have a failsafe for if you don't put in a distance, uh, it, it, it'll just essentially break. Um, <clears throat> Uh, this is function farm. What this does is uh, he goes from from the from one to the distance, which uh, in my case is nine, and he goes forward. Uh, once he detects something that's underneath him, he digs down. Uh, before I was using compare, so you could only use uh, pumpkins or specifically uh, one melon. Now, because he only detects if something's below him, he'll break it and go. Uh, since he's a farming turtle, he can't break anything other than uh, crops, so it won't matter if there's a piece of cobblestone there. It won't break and end up in your inventory. So then down here, we go into a while statement, start off farm. This goes down one length of the farm. This turns him around. He detects uh, the first block and then jumps back into farm to come back down the other side. Then it turns him back around, and this is where he grabs everything in the inventory and dumps it into the box. And then sleep is the, uh, the amount of time before he goes again. This obviously can be changed to whatever you prefer. Um, on servers, you might want to push it up. If you're in a single player world, you can push it down. The, the code for this setup will be on um, pastebin. If this was helpful to you, you want to see some more iterations to this, I will be working on a version that will do more than one row. I'll be able to have multiple rows of farms. Uh, that will be in the future. This is version 2 of my uh, pumpkin farming turtle program. If this was helpful for you, let me know in the comments if you want to see some new uh, code or if you want to see uh, a little bit more in depth about the coding. I up for that. I uh, thank you for tuning in. I'm Dave from the Kodo. Like always, good luck 